is wonderful to have you guys join us. Um, I'm really thrilled to be here. I had the pleasure of seeing the MELT method at our mania conventions. And Sue is an incredibly dynamic individual and I was just kind of sucked in. And I, when, when they approached me, when the MELT method approached me to do kickstart your cash flow by teaching MELT, I thought this is it. This is an unbelievable program that works really well for fitness professionals that are so passionate about the industry and helping others. But sometimes we don't know how to help ourselves. We don't know how to put food on our table for our kids, send our kids to college. So I'm honored to be here. Sue is fantastic. She's an internationally recognized manual therapist, exercise physiologist, and founding member of the Fascia Research Society. And she's best known as the dynamic creator of, of course, the MELT method, a pioneering self-care technique that eases and prevents pain while boosting performance. Um, the method became the topic of her New York Times best selling book, The MELT Method, and its 2019 follow-up, MELT Performance. So I'm really excited to welcome Sue Hitzman. This is, and of course I'm, I'm pronouncing the name correctly, um, <laughs> but it's really terrific. So thank you, thank you, Sue. Thank you for letting me do this. I'm oh, just- Kara, thank you so much for doing this. I mean, you know, you've been in the industry longer and helping so many people with SEWs. So really grateful, thank you. Well, I'm just thrilled to be here. And there's a lot of people on this webinar. And I want to encourage you guys. We have people from Germany. We've got people from California, Seattle. We've got individuals from Canada. It's, it's, this is a world phenomena. So do type your name in. All you guys need to do is move your mouse, go to the bottom of your screen. You're going to see that green share button. All you do is go to the left, the chat box, click on it, and you can type in um, questions. So this is really cool for us to be able to connect with you guys. This is, uh, what's fantastic about this is we're recording this. So all of you that are listening to this webinar are gonna be able to listen to the recording and you get a special gift from Mouth. They're so generous, they're gonna be giving Oh my gosh, it's like, Sue, it's huge. It's like $300 off the training, which is a great, you know, which is a great gift. I think you can even share that with your friends. And the next certification that she's doing is actually January 11th. Now, first question I'm going to ask you, Sue, is I need you to share with people, what is the Mount Method? Sure. So the MELT method is a simple self-care technique that people can use at home on their own. And it's a way to eliminate chronic pain or persistent pain issues by directly affecting the two systems of the body that cause pain to become chronic, which is your nervous system and your fascial system. And in MELT, we call that the neurofascial system. Uh, and, and what I basically teach people to do is to bridge the gap between the therapeutic industries of physical therapy and the fitness industry where we eat right and we exercise, but lots of people still have persistent pain issues. So Melt really bridges the gap to teach people how to become their own hands-on body worker by themselves. We call that hands-off body work by using soft tools and rollers that simulate manual therapy. And it's really interesting. This is more important now than ever. Do you know that typically a physician will only see a patient for 15 minutes maximum? And yeah. then if you're lucky enough to have insurance that'll put you to a physical therapist, you're lucky if you get a couple of visits and then you're on your own. So we as fitness professionals are dumped on with these clients that unfortunately for the past two years have been sitting on a couch. So yeah. how... How did you come about to create this method? Because you've got this incredible neuromuscular therapy background. Where did this come from? Well, I, you're right. I mean, I, actually, my background, I started in the fitness industry at 16. My mid-20s, I started doing neuromuscular therapy. I had a master's in physiology and anatomy. But then in the late 90s, I got myself into chronic pain. And nothing in my toolbox was really making a dent 
in the pain problem that I had. And it was originally diagnosed as plantar fasciitis. And it quickly turned into this body-wide ache. I even had doctors say, maybe it's fibromyalgia, it might be lupus, we're not sure, we're gonna run some tests. And I just kept falling upon this idea of uh, inflamed fascia, fa you know, fasciitis. And I thought it could inflamed fascia actually be causing my entire body to break down and giving me all these pain points. And if that's the case, there's no exercise for that. So I started to reveal it to myself through study that connective tissue is in fact a renewable resource in your body. And the method spawned out of my private practice, just sharing this in a one-on-one -on -one setting. Uh, and, and I watched clients come in with severe trauma and pain and walk out feeling better. And uh, Melt just developed as homework for my private clients um, back then. And, and by 2004, I'd helped so many people that I started teaching a group exercise. Well, what I find interesting is <laughs> we were chatting a couple of days ago about this. And I found it fascinating that the reason you started this also was because you didn't want people to come back. Okay. You yeah. wanted to actually, yeah, that's great business practice. Okay. But you wanted to be able to help people and make sure that they were um, getting better. And what you discovered from that, I found to be so interesting. You found that you, you just grew your practice incredibly. Yeah, actually, that was when I first started it, when my the, the whole thing spawned out of one client saying to me, if you could just invent a way for me to do to myself what you do with your magic hands, I'd stay out of your office. And that was my first thought was, if I did that, I'd be unemployed. But it did sound intriguing. And, and it became an at home homework between sessions and people were coming back better faster. I was saving them time, saving them money. And so I thought, yeah, I'm going to totally free up my lifestyle. But the opposite happened. My private practice exploded. I went from seeing 50 people a year to over 500 people a year, different people. And it was because I was able to identify problems with them, give them homework so that they didn't have to come to me 10, 20, 30 times. And that was really where I got all of the experience also. And I've worked on every known disorder, disease and dysfunction known to man. And by 2004, I had treated thousands and thousands of people, like over 8,000 people. And I thought, you know what, I, I think I could teach this in a group environment. And that was what I did in 2004. I coined the term melt. I started teaching it in group environments. And in the fitness industry, it, it wasn't at first very well received because the group exercise managers, they're like, this isn't fitness. And I said, you know, lots of people engage in fitness and it's the dirty little secret of fitness is that even the fitness professionals are injured and there is repetitive stress injuries and older adults are coming in with these problems and we can't exercise our way out of these things so it's actually a way to retain clients in the studios is by ensuring that they don't get injured losing weight and leaning their bodies down so and and doing a lot of these programs it was interesting we just had a webinar on hit programming uh -huh. which you gotta love it but what was fascinating to me in the webinar that we talked about hit i was expecting to hear you know how to jump higher how to jump work out longer how to lift heavier but you know what they focused on they focused on recovery as if recovery was something new and yes, we all I, I know. So, a big thing in the last number of years, people saying, oh, there's this new thing called recovery and fitness. And, and here's the word. I think we need to change the word recovery because recovery to me means that something's wrong and you need to fix it. So one of the mottos of MELT is prepare, perform, restore, repeat. Because if you spend a little bit of time preparing your body for sports performance and then restoring those important aspects of your body, the fascial system and your nervous system to regain neurological stability and efficiency, you spend a whole lot less time and money recovering from injuries and issues in your body. So I think this is an important aha for people is why is the word recovery something? It's because we're recovering from something that we've done. And I don't want to recover from my workouts. I want to replete my body. I want to restore my body mm -hmm. so that I can get right back out there and do it again. I love that. I love that we're talking about restore. And now, I, I want to ask you, how do we bridge the gap 
from using melt, you know, you started more, I, I want to say almost like a personal uh, trainer. Okay. Because you were a physical therapist and a personal trainer. And then how did you transition to get more group X oriented? Because that's where the people who are listening on this webinar, they want to find out how can I integrate and make some small group training, do this as a group training? How can I charge for my sessions, make it affordable for people, do my personal passion of helping people, you know, lose weight, feel better, um, be able to return to the gym. So how did you integrate and transition from that personal trainer and therapist into the group X field? Sure. Well, I actually, my background is in group exercise. So I had always taught in front of groups. And when I was teaching this one-on-one, -on -one, I just kept hearing myself repeating myself over and over again. So when I transitioned the method into group X, I really realized that I needed to develop a language because talking about neuroscience and fascial research, like nobody really cares about it. They just want to know how to do something <laughs> to make themselves feel better. And I just, my clients were like, I don't understand these words you're talking talking about the neurofascial system. And I said, well, it's like an autopilot. It's the parts of your body that are supporting, protecting, and stabilizing you without your voluntary control or conscious awareness. And they're like, use the word autopilot. I understand that. And, and I started just developing a language. And my, it took me two years to really start to diffuse each technique into what I call the four R's of melt, reconnect, rebalance, rehydrate, and release. And as I was teaching my clients, I started to really simplify the language so that they would remember how to do the techniques at home. And that was really the unique aspect of it was that I didn't want them to always have to come back to my group class, but I also wanted them to repeat it at home because that's the thing about self-care. It's a daily self-care practice, just like brushing your teeth. We do it every day to keep our breath fresh, but we also do it to prevent tooth decay in the future. So it, it was the messaging that I was trying to throw out to the clients in a group environment that if they did this at home between the sessions, they would refine their practice and I would teach them more techniques each week. And the method is huge. I mean, the method is five levels of instructor training. You don't need to be trained in all five levels to teach, but there's so many techniques because the nervous system and the fascial system can be addressed in different ways. So the beauty of teaching in groups is that you get to affect more people faster. And, uh, you know, what I did was I used the group environment to take all of my private clients in, from my private practice and move them into a room together. And that way we could talk about it and, and work it out and it cost them less. And again, it saved them time in the long run. So it was a really yeah. easy transition from one-on-one -on -one to group environment. And it, it helps you to serve your passion and, and, serve your motivation, which is helping others to feel better and stay better, stay yeah. well. Yes. Um, and I found the course to be really interesting. You know, SCW, we offer one day training programs. It's kind of like, you know, I hear kickstart and I think, well, I'm going to kick in the gluteal. You know, you get seven and a half hours, sh shovel lunch down your throat. Maybe you get to the go to the bathroom once, not twice, but once. So you're in this seven hour course and then boom, you're supposed to leave. And suddenly I'm a Pilates instructor or suddenly I'm a bar instructor. That's not the goal. That's not what SCW does. We're inspiring you to start. What I found fascinating and so encouraging about the MELT method is I felt like this was a collegiate course. And you didn't tell me this. I was the one who came up with it when, I, when we were chatting the other, the other day. And talk to me about the duration because the depth of the training was absolutely outstanding for me. I found three months. I get three months, I get like 90 days of training. I get TAs, I get small groups, I get online videos, I get one-on-one -on -one support. I was amazed at how you were able to do this. Well, well, this is a curriculum. It's not a workshop, right? It really is a curriculum. And the thing about neuros, again, neuroscience and fascial research, this stuff is complex. And, and it was my intention to not just teach people the technique, but to teach people, especially who wanted to teach it, a little of the science behind the method so that they could become an authority on the method and on the science as well, so that they could pass this information along to their clients. Because again, the missing link 
to pain-free living is understanding how fascia adapts to our movements, our daily living, and all of the altercations and issues that happen in our connective tissue are really key factors in what uh, cause joint pain and over time, true exhaustion, fatigue in the body. So the curriculum, it, it, it is dense. And so breaking it down over the course of three months, the course is broken down into modules. And each module starts with an over overview and a little bit of science and then each technique we break it down by the by the most minute components of the method so you learn the technique then you learn a move to apply the technique then you take a multiple amount of moves you create a sequence and then you start to learn how to create what we call a melt map which is what a class would be it would be a series of sequences that <clears throat> might take 45 minutes to an hour to do a full treatment um, and so so breaking that down and getting the instructors to really infuse the methodology in themselves, very similar to what I would in a group environment, right? Like if you teach an intro class and then you start to add techniques over time, you don't just give everybody the most complex techniques right out of the gate and learning how to spoon feed self-care to people so that you make it simple, you make it easy, people can feel the transformation each time that they come back. That's what gets people motivated to come back and do it again and again. And that's what we teach yeah. method in the training. And you empower the student, the I'm going to call them students, but they're the instructors, they're the trainers, they're the teachers that are leading this small group or leading this large group or leading the one on one, you're empowering them not only to understand, they've got to understand the method, they've got to understand the technique, or they can't create programs that are individualized for their clients. And that's what takes the time. Yeah, because and, learning, and, learning to melt is like learning a new language. Just yeah. like Sanskrit terms are unique to yoga, we have terms that we call the living body model, and there's five elements that you learn. And again, the four R's protocol, learning what a rehydrate technique is, what is a rebalancing technique, what do they mean? Right. So it really is like going to college. You're learning advanced concepts that go far beyond diet, exercise routines. This is, this is again, a, something that is far more profound and is really above the level of traditional fitness. You're, you're really, again, in between the segue between being a hands-on body worker and being a fitness professional. And there's somewhere in between, and I call that hands-off body work, right? And the best people to do that job are the people who work in the fitness industry or are therapists looking to give their clients at homework. That's what the method is here for. And that's fantastic because the we, you know, I consider myself a group fitness instructor as well as a personal trainer. And I look at that and I go, I am the best one dealing with these people. You know, they may go to a doctor, they may see him for like, what, the 15 minutes of fame, you get, you know, this bequeathed with information of you've got this, you've got that now go see somebody. It's like, hello, who can I see? And we're the ones that they ask the questions. You, what do I do when I'm having this knee discomfort? What's going on with my shoulder? Why is my upper back tense and my shoulders feel like they're earrings for half the day? Um, and, and you're empowering the instructors to do this, but it's ongoing. You yeah. give them manuals, you give them sure. videos. That, that's why it's three months. That's why it's three months long, right? Because once you learn a little bit, you want to be able to check in. And of course, I, I have been teaching teacher training since the early 2000s and COVID changed everything. And moving the trainings online has actually offered, I think, an incredible asset to our instructors. I, I think the one thing I, I hear a lot is that I talk very fast because I'm a New Yorker, although I just moved to Florida. And when you take a live course, our live instructor training used to be five days long, and that was it. So you get rapid fire, you had a pre-training that you learn stuff on your own, and then you come into this course for five days and you're just getting beaten up for eight hours a day trying to figure out 
30 different or 26 different techniques in, in the span of five days. Now it's almost like you're, it's like a drip campaign. You're just giving them a little bit, a little bit, a little bit each week so that after a couple of months of practice, every month we check in with live calls, we review things with them, answer questions. They, we have you know Q and A's in, embedded into the course itself so that you're not just taking an online course and it's, you do it on your own. I am really, a, I'm a hands-on person. I like really getting into the meat of it with the instructors. And what is beautiful is, is how many people have gone through this online course now and instantly leave the course when they're graduated and go right out there and start teaching and making a business out of it. And that's well, huge. And that's, it, it's a curriculum. Like yes. the first time I was like three months, this is a college curriculum course, you know, and that to me is amazing. And it's uniquely generous in everything you supply, all right, between the printed manuals, between the online videos, between the live streaming connection that you do in the TAs that actually break these groups up, you know, because there's a lot of people that you've certified and that you've trained, you've trained hundreds, I think, at this point. Yeah, thousands. Oh my gosh. So it's it's crazy to get to continue to get that personal connection, but that's why you need the three months. Now you have to talk to me about the business end because I'm gonna tell you honestly, you know, I I I am a businesswoman. I take it very, very seriously, and I'm really working hard to empower women and also all fitness professionals, colors, sex, doesn't matter, everybody. We are the helpers. We are the givers. We don't think that we also should be able to receive, you know, so I never know what to charge. I don't know how to do this. And when we were talking about, I don't want to go into the price of the core of the course, but I thought about the price of the course and I thought, oh my gosh, in like a six week course that I can offer to maybe 10 clients, I've already paid for this three month program. And then within the next six weeks, in less than two months, in less than 50 days, you know what I mean? I can, I'm making a profit. I'm making a hundred percent profit. Yes. And you know what? We need to be able to do that. It's yes. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a, you know, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur and I, I have always just had to make money, right? And you figure out how can I make the most amount of money in the least amount of time? And one of the beauties was that I, when I when I went from working one-on-one, -on -one, you're making you know, 100 to $200 an hour. But then if you teach in a group and you can get 10, 20, 30, 40 people in front of you, suddenly you're making thousands of dollars an hour. And this was like an aha for me. So as I started to teach other people, that was actually how I got into doing Doing this as an instructor training was that instructors were taking my course or my cl my classes and saying your class is packed like I want to teach this what is this you're you're there you're doing these live events and, and people are coming like lining out the door and I I thought this is really a great opportunity for me to share some work but I, I'm I'm with you on this Sarah a lot of instructors are brilliant at what they do they're terrible at knowing how to charge how to make money and how to grow a business they're terrible because they haven't been trained that's it and they're terrible because they haven't been exposed yes and so what you what you did is give them business cards, brochures. And, and a lot of times when you start a new program, I find when I start a new program, the hardest thing to do is lead a beginning course. That's right. And you've got everything laid out for them. This Literally is step all by step. Literally you step can't by. you can't help who you are. You're a little bit crazy. Okay. I'm just gonna <laughs> share that. It's, it's like it's like this generosity of spirit. Yeah. Someone said to me, you know, everybody, New Year's, New Year's, I'm looking, you know, what do I want to do? Who do I want to be? You know what? You and I are pretty lucky women in this world. We're doing exactly what we love. And, and what I like what you've done is you've been so generous and kind 
to supply this to others and say, here is a package that you can put together, you can make revenue, but you can also serve your higher purpose, which is helping others. And that's who we are as people. We wanna be able to learn something new. And it's not about teaching, you know, I wanna learn how to do a unique step touch, jump higher, you know, uh, uh, lift more. I want to learn how to live longer, activities of daily living, help individuals that maybe do have some disabilities, maybe some chronic diseases that, you know, they, they throw out these jumble terms of, oh, you've got, what are they, fibromyalgia. I'm like, okay, here's the garbage term for the, you know, for the new century. It's, and it, it doesn't help them. No, and, and that's it. I mean, the what has been a blessing for me is when I, and I share this, you know, uh, quite a lot in our in our instructor trainings, when I was getting certified in things like cranial sacral therapy and visceral manipulation, you would spend all this money and, and spend a week learning this stuff. And then you'd go back to your office and you I didn't know how to promote myself or how do I explain this to people. And, then, and so it's really the getting started and getting your feet wet into teaching that's the hardest part. So that's what I did was I mapped out a basic business model, right? Saying, hey, you're going to invest a couple of thousand dollars getting a base level training. And this is actually the level one training is two trainings in one. You're learning the hand and foot curriculum and the roller curriculum as the base. So you're, you've got two trainings you're taking. It's a lot of stuff to learn, but and you're learning far more than what would be embedded into an intro class. But that's what we do is we then create a step-by-step -step plan saying, you're going to teach an intro class. Here's the recommended price that you would teach. If you get 10 people into your class, do three of these intro classes, get very good at doing intro classes. And then you have an option. You could do four session series that are only melt and teach people the curriculum, eight session series, or for those of you guys who are yoga instructors or Pilates, or you have a foundation already, you can infuse Melt into your programs and create a, a, bigger, a bigger offering at your studios. And that's, and that's so smart because you want to learn a new training technique. And I'm going to go back to the word recovery. I know that's not your favorite, but restore you you're teaching other classes you're teaching water exercise yoga pilates strength training maybe you've got a bunch of personal training clients and you filter in a few of the special exercises that you do and then you can develop and expand and do your own course and i have seen 200 hour yoga courses that are far more expensive than what you're offering. Oh, yeah, and they absolutely. don't give you any business. They don't give you any curriculum. Like here's a beginning course. Here's a more intermediate course. Here's how you integrate it into what you're offering. You don't have to give up your freestyle classes. You don't give up your personal training clients. You teach Pilates three times a week if this is what you wanna do. But this is an awesome supplement that is so current. You know, it is. And, and it, look, we have our community. The other thing that's huge for us is the community itself. Like, again, we have thousands of instructors. And as much as I'm gracious and I'm giving our instructors, I mean, it is mind blowing. We have a private Facebook page and somebody will write in and say, hey, I got this new client that I'm, I'm really not sure what to do. I mean, I know that this is the basic process of what, you know, Sue would tell me to do. But what else what else can somebody offer? And if I'm not answering the question, Another dozen instructors are, oh, I have instructors like that. And so that to me has been probably the biggest blessing for me is to actually have built a community of like-minded individuals who are out there to support each other. It's not just I'm yes. the one, it's in the community of and us. And they're amazing. I went on the Facebook and I was looking around. Oh my gosh, these MELT instructors are actually getting referrals from physical therapists, so several from physical therapists, but a lot from like orthopedists and orthopedist surgery. And so that this is a post, this is, they're using it as rehab and they're using it as prehab, which yes. means before you, before you go into surgery, get your body into shape. Maybe you've got something going on. Maybe you tore a rotator cuff. Maybe you've got an ACL or you got a meniscus. How do we get the hamstring strong so that we could go into this? I was, I like, I got sucked into it reading what all these people are doing. And 
Again, you don't have to give up what you're doing. It's a supplement. And a lot of the instructors just found themselves transitioning and building this I don't like to use the term empire, but this, yes. this, bi- this business. business model for themselves. And you feel so good about yourself. That, again, I'm going to go back. You started this to keep people out of your office. You, you were a neuromuscular therapist. Don't come back. I want to cure you. And then they kept wanting to come and you grew it into the small group and the large group training. Um, what would you say is one of the most successful techniques you used mm, to help these individuals transition to make themselves successful? What is one of the things that you added? Was it the business cards or the brochures or social media posts that you helped them with? I think it's all of it. I mean, I I think a lot of what we do is it's really the the beginning steps of teaching and bringing people into the fundamentals of teaching an intro class, or when you first start working with somebody, the very fundamental techniques like a mini foot treatment, a mini hand treatment, a rebalance sequence. And so because the method is broken down into pieces, you can be, it it really depends upon who your audience is. If you're working in a one-on-one environment and you're doing HIIT training, or you know somebody's looking to lose weight, you're not gonna maybe do an hour of melt, but you might do a foot treatment before you do all those plyometrics so that they have better stability in their pelvis and they have better ground reaction force, which is going to help them with their agility, their stability. And again, just like how you said, minimize the problem so that you aren't going to rehab. This is the the stuff that you do. It's preventative. And that's the problem with medicine is that doctors don't practice prevention. They practice cure. And MELT is not a cure. It's not a religion. It is a way for people to empower themselves to stay healthy and out of the doctor's office so that they don't get hooked on the opiates and all of the medications that people take when they're, when they have aches and pains. And really you can slow down in effect the, the aging process by knowing a systematic approach. So that's what we teach the instructors is how to kind of step-by-step work with your clients, treat them as individuals. And if you're teaching in a group at class, you know, I always say to the class, when I first come in, I, I walk to my class, I'm thinking I'm going to, you know, do the upper body stuff that I'm thinking in my head, what the class is going to be. And I walk in the room and I'm like, mm, maybe today is just a nice basic day. What do you guys need? And that's, that's the beauty of creating community is those of us who teach in group, whether it's online or live classes, when you have your tribe, when you have your Sangha, you have your group, They will stay with you if you teach them in a way where you can then, I always say it's like you're dropping a little Jedi mind trick when you say, okay, so when you guys do this this week at home on your own, the instructors have an asset to them, which is our streaming platform called Melt On Demand. And so our instructors will teach a class and then they'll direct their students to go and watch a particular videos on the app so that when they come back, they can ask questions and then the teacher teaches them more. And that's how you create a real community for yourself where that's how you get the referrals and you become successful in your business and it never stops. It's also great for gyms. It's great for boutique studios, YMCAs, you know, independent health clubs. It's been, it's really a nice addition because I found what I, I also found this was kind of interesting. You can go online and whatever my clients purchase, I get part of that as the instructor. I might get part of that as the club, whether it's the balls, whether it's a foam roller, what, whatever equipment it is. Um, and I thought that was very unique. And again, I'm throwing this out there, but generous because it's encouraging people to come back, come back and work out with you. And I love the on-demand, but we know a lot of people are kind of zoomed out. You know, They but wanna get a, a little thing they can do at home. But they want to come to you. They they want to get touched. They want it whether you're wearing gloves and a mask, whatever. Yeah. They want to get touched. They want that hands on. Well, and you know, I remember when I first started doing DVDs, the instructors who were trained, they're like, well, why are they going to need me if there's a DVD or why would they need me if there's an app? And I'm like, are you kidding? This is just going to get more people to you. And that was exactly what happened. So there's a, a real, you know, um, 
business mindset that that instructors and personal trainers need to have is to to continuously bring people back into the community get them to use the app get them to want to learn more and you're right i mean we do affiliate programming so whether you know you take the course and then you're like i love this and you get somebody else to take the course we give you a kickback from from having a referral to instructor training so you know you make hundreds of dollars doing that so there's all sorts of opportunities to generate revenue in this industry even even with the industry being so disjointed right now because of covid it this is really the asset to keep people involved in fitness in a in a bigger way and of course milk does have another component to it, which was in the 2019 Melt Performance book, which is neurostrength. So there is a strength component to Melt in the upper levels of education, but you can learn all of it on the app. And that's really the beauty of the method. And I like that the app is there because the focus is really on results. Yes. The focus is, I want to get my client moving, feeling good. And if the client feels good, like you talked about I feel like this is an anti-aging technique yes. because the, we, we were chatting, I'm, I'm 62 years old and it's like, I wake up in the morning yes. and I kind of go, Ooh, okay. What's going on today? You know, I and I don't, I'm, do that. I don't do that. My body does not do that. So Sarah, we need to get you to melt because honestly, I don't wake up feeling stiff and achy, but if you're feeling that, if anybody feels that that's what we call a pre-pain signal, that's your connective tissue talking to you saying, I need to hydrate, which is why when you move around that stiff achiness goes away. That's why movement is so important. But if you don't directly address the fluid flow of fascia, it's your joints that pay the price more than anything else. And if your brain can't figure out where your joints are at, as you move, you have a higher chance for repetitive stress injuries, and you just exhaust your nervous system from functioning efficiently. The regulators of stress repair and digestion get out of whack when your nervous system is working really hard just to keep you standing upright, right? And it really, the MELT program also stimulates your own body's anti-inflammatory yes. responses. That's it. And I found that to be fascinating as well. Now, talk to me about how the program progresses because you said you know there's five different levels how do the pro how does the program progress sure so in the level one training you're learning the hand and foot instructor methodology and that's really the like i always say melt is a pyramid so at the base is your hand and foot instructor training and in that second component is the hydration the four hours protocol of melt reconnect rebalance rehydrate and release so you learn how to use the roller to apply this positive tension and compression and to also help restore neurological efficiency improve vagal tone heart rate variability all through these very gentle techniques in the upper level training you start to add neuro strength to the mix. So these are neurological reintegration and repatterning techniques, very akin to neuromuscular therapy. So my wheelhouse is neuromuscular therapy. And what I can tell you is neuromuscular therapy is, is a technique that most people do not know anything about. They don't know what neurological reintegration is or how do the deep stabilization mechanisms of our body operate or not as we get older, how do they get dysfunctional? And why is it that traditional exercise doesn't improve the stability components of our nervous system? If we wanna move better, I always say you, you can't be efficiently mobile if you're inefficiently stable. So in the upper level courses, you're learning how to reintegrate the timing of the stabilizers of your shoulder girdle, your pelvis and your core, which is gonna minimize some of that joint compression and joint decentralization that happens just from aging. I would say nobody ever complains about getting taller as we get older, we just lose space. So this is a way to really stabilize joints. So each level of training builds upon the next, learning more uh, complex patterning and techniques, going from floor work to standing work so that you basically yield the best results by, by working that way. And that's the way I've worked with my clients is giving them the basic stuff that they can go home 
and do on their own. And then as they come back and I start adding more advanced techniques, I don't necessarily send them home with the advanced techniques. I give them the simple stuff to do at home. And then we work on the complex stuff that's gonna stick in their body. And that that's really the recipe for transforming people's lives, that it's not you know one and done. You're, you're giving them something simple that they like to do, that they feel the results for, and, and that's the cool thing about MELT is the assessment protocols is learning how to identify stuck stress and then getting your clients to, to sense immediate changes. That's the goal of the method. So Sue, what do I need as a prerequisite to, to join this program? Do and I need to be a certified personal trainer or a certified instructor or have the background you have on neuromuscular science? No, actually, a lot of people come to the course either as an encore career. They've already they're in their sixties. They are now retired, but they want to help their communities, and they have no background of any of this. But they've taken the classes, and they felt the change in their body, and they're like, "I think I could teach this." So again, the beauty of the method is that you don't you don't have to you don't have to teach the science to your clients. I want people to know the science so that they understand what they're doing. But the idea is to, again, simple, effective language. So it's really learning how to create rapport with clients, how to communicate with them in simplified terms to get them excited to learn more. And that's what you learn in the method. So we get, I mean, really our instructors span the gamut from high level medical doctors, nurses, acupuncturists, massage therapists, chiropractors, uh, massage therapists, all of these are over on one side. And on the other side, we have, you know, fitness enthusiasts, um, you know, personal trainers, yoga instructors, Pilates, and, and again, people who are just curious about helping their communities and they want to help their, their local community. And, and they want to help themselves. Yeah. Because they, that's, they that's also what I read, which, which I thought was fascinating. Yeah. These people who have, you know, the chronic discomforts and trying to correct it and improve their own bodies they benefit from the program. So you don't even have to be one of those people that want to share this method and teach others. It also can be a training just for yourself, which I think is pretty interesting. Yeah. So, so um, when I'm looking at this program and I'm thinking that I want to start it, what have people found to be the best, the most successful way to start the program? Like, most of, yeah, with, with most of them implemented into their practice, there's usually two roads that they go on. They they add small bits of melt into their current offering. So the Pilates instructors will melt their clients for 10 minutes before doing Pilates. Their, my, my coaches will use it as a post-recovery after a training day, and they'll just drop sequences into their programs. But for those of us that are instructors we are group exercise instructors most of them will just jump right in and start doing intro classes and then a series of classes a series of events where you're bringing people through and i'm like that i like beginning middle and end so you basically over the course of eight weeks learn how to teach each week what are you going to add into the course so that at the end of eight eight sessions or what most people do is four weeks after a month, people have the foundation in their body. And once they have that, then they have ongoing classes where they just keep adding more techniques. And that's also why the upper levels of training really become very beneficial is that each month they can start adding more and more techniques as they go. And it works, it works as, I love the 30 days. Everything I've read talks about 30 day programming for your clients in the small group training. That is but one of the number one successful programs that have has worked post pandemic. So you've already got that set out. I love that. I also love about having the ongoing group. I never asked you this before. I hope it's okay. What do you charge your clients for melt as a personal training as a one on one? And what would you charge them in a small group? Let's say, you know, a lot of small groups, the exclu exclusivity of the small group has really worked well to generate income charging between $20 and $40 a session. I mean, yoga where I am at in, in Colorado, it's $35 for a yoga class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, you know, 
when I when I first started doing this at the JCC, that that was where I really incubated the program. And mm -hmm. I I was charging. I'm I'm also from New York, so perhaps my prices are a little more expensive. But my clients were giving me at that time one hundred and fifty dollars for a single session, a one on one private hands on session. And when I said, hey, if I could do this in a group instead of spending half of our time instead of doing body work, you know, for forty five minutes and then fifteen minutes of milk would you be interested in coming to this group class? And people said, yes. So I started doing these series events and my series events were about $500 for eight sessions is what I was charging them. It was less than half um, for, for doing eight, eight hours of time with me. And they, we also had classes at the club, which at the club I was getting paid like maybe 60 bucks an hour or something. But what was incredible was that people were coming to the paid sessions and to the one and to the group. And then we had the instructors who were one on one, the personal trainers also getting trained so that if they wanted more refined techniques, they could go out into the personal training and, realm and more focus, especially. More it's focus. Interesting. We're getting a few questions like Nancy was was um, Nancy Reefer was asking this. Will the training give us business advice as well, meaning ongoing business advice? Yes. Yeah, yeah. We we actually again because of the kind of group that we are, you have we we call them the business resources. So you have piles of business resources, printouts that that they can download, printouts for their clients, printouts to teach classes, cheat sheets, all these things that an instructor would always want to have, quick on hand to be able to hand to their clients. And then we have monthly calls with the instructors where they can ask any questions, business or client wise. They have a client question or a business question and so every single month we have a live call with our instructors um, and we record them for people who can't attend uh, and we also have a private Facebook page where people post questions all the time and either I'll answer in a video form if it's a really complex question um, that needs a complex answer or or we just reply to them so we do have an, an instructor um, customer service team that works exclusively with our instructors and um, we got a question from Audrey, she is actually in early retirement. Okay, so she's kind of in a career change, which is great. Are we able to teach this program just online? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you can teach it online. We we have our we have you know certain rules with our instructors of how they're teaching it. But after COVID happened, we we tried to get our instructors out there teaching Zoom. And I took the choice to not teach Zoom because I didn't want to capitalize on people coming to my Zoom classes when we had all these incredible instructors teaching. And the instructors actually a lot of them will say they made more money teaching online because friends had people in other countries coming to take the class that they would have never met before. So the online world is actually one of the best resources that we have. And because Melt does, it's again, you're queuing, you're talking people through it. And when you have a particular amount of people on your screen, you can pause and talk about somebody and ask them to move their roller. So we troubleshoot with our instructors. So they not only learn the techniques in each video, there's a troubleshooting for them to know hey what do you what might you see and what isn't right so if you see this this is the cue to change that so we're 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 all for people teaching online now that's that's what part of the that's curriculum. great yeah you you always adapt yeah, always yeah. adapt i think that's fantastic and i know that the, everybody who's on this call gets the 300 dollar discount for the intro course we did get a question from patricia will there be a discount for the next level, she already has done one and two, and she wants to do level three in June. Yeah, and so when when if there are already instructors, we always do a if you register early, we give discounts. I'm always, I mean, again, we're <laughs> we we try to give money back to the instructors, like everything from early bird discounts. If they register early, we give them money back. If they get a friend to register for a class they make money. We, with the products, if you want to resell products, you can either be an affiliate or if you buy them for resale, you get them at a super discount.
discount so that you make money on the products as well. And we also have a custom kit program, which is uh, instead of a full hand and foot in, uh, kit that people buy for 50 bucks, they can customize exactly how they want their custom kit to be. And that way they can sell it for whatever they want. And so there's a we're, my goal is not only to give people their own self-care practice and embody the method and give them a, an ability to help their community, but to really create a thriving business, enhance off-body work. And I feel like we've given everybody the resources. So if you are a go-getter, you're saying, I get it, I, I'm going to learn this, and then I'm going to go through that process of what Sue said, I'm going to do an intro class, I'm going to do a series event, see who comes to your events, and you will find if you're a good quality instructor, right? If, people, if somebody doesn't stick with the method, I always say, are they not sticking with the method or are they not sticking with you, you, which is maybe you need to refine your language a little bit more. So practice is really what it is. So most of our instructors will work one-on-one -on -one until they get the language into their vocabulary. And then they start teaching it with three people. And I always say, once you're three, you're in a group. And then they try to branch it out and go and approach a club and teach in a studio or teach online. And Dolores asked a question, which I thought is interesting. I mean, I think the answer is relatively obvious, but you never know. Would you charge more for a group melt class when you teach it in a group X setting? Now, I, I'm not sure if Dolores is asking, does the club pay you more if it's in a group X or if it's one on one? I think it's, you know, if you charge $10 to keep it very, very low, but you get 20 people in the class, you're making $200, you know? Yes. Okay. And so that's it, amazing. Right. It always, you do, yeah, I was going to say it always depends on the club, right? Like if you mm -hmm. wanted to get melt into, let's say, lifetime fitness, it's not going to happen. Or Equinox, right? Because they have their programs and they only want their programs. They don't want outside programs coming into their clubs, right? But if you're at a YMCA or a JCC or you have a boutique studio, the, the thing that we do is we create you know, printouts of like rev share. So with the way that I did it with the JCC, I was teaching when I was incubating the methodology, I was just teaching regular classes on their schedule and they were paying me whatever they were paying instructors. And, and the classes were packed. And I said, I want to do more exclusive, limited to 20 people. Instead of having 50 people in this room, I only want 20 and I want to charge them $400 for this. And they were like, nobody's going to show up. Well, sure enough, it was sold out every single time I taught and the club was thrilled because I was doing a 70, 30 rev share with them. I was making 70, they were making 30. I made another 160 grand that year. They made almost hundred grand for the studio. Everybody was happy. This is a way to grow a business and again, help retain clients in a health club, in any studio, you want to retain them. And the way to do that is to give them offerings that keep them coming back to learn more and get, keep them feeling good. And if they feel good, they're going to stay with you. And we did get a question from someone, is the course self-paced? Because some people, you know, you haven't been in school for 30 years and you're jumping back into a new program. It's a little scary. You know, I got to watch videos. I've got to read, read this. I've got to go back and practice. They're a little bit nervous. So how does the pace of the program okay. work? It's a really good question. So we, we, we say it's a, it's a 90 day course. Right. But it's a, although it's a self-paced course, we do we do want people to in the first month, there's like, let's say that there's six uh, uh, modules. We want you to get through modules one and two in a month. And that's easy. That means that you're practicing for three to four hours a week inside the body of the course. And much like a student, right, you are learning something. And if you want to get good at anything, I always say melt is a daily practice. So once you start learning, we want you in those modules taking the, the treatments and doing the treatments as you go. And that's really what's so important is that you're, you're practicing in your, in your own body so that you get good at it, but then set aside weekly time at the same time, just like you did in school, right? Four o'clock, you're done with whatever. And you're going to sit for an hour and watch a couple of videos. And you can see in the modules how long each uh, video is. And most of the videos are 
most of them are around 10 to 20 minutes long, depending upon what the technique is that you're learning, because some techniques are more complex. So really, you can learn three or four techniques in an hour, and then you try the treatment, and then you're done that day. And what we tell people to do is don't think that you have to refine your practice as you go through the course. You want to embody the practice, take the quiz, move to the next module. And then after the training is done, that's really where the, the meat of your practice really begins is when you begin to share it with others and you start teaching. That's where the practice really becomes your, your paced program, right? But it is it is self-paced so you can do it any time of the day um we set up our our calls are done at specific times we let people know ahead of time before they register these are where the live calls are if you can't make it they're recorded um we require out of the six calls you at least come to three so you know we're, we're flexible we want people to finish the course and the beauty of the courses is that every single time we've done this training 95 percent of the participants complete the course on time and if people need an extension we give them an extension it's simple yeah yeah you've got to i mean it's the pandemic we have to take care of people and that's yeah. that's just what you guys do i did get a question from somebody that i thought it's okay it's a little particular there's like 99 comments going on in here and i'm trying to stay on top of them Somebody asked one of her yoga classes that she teaches, I think it's a chair yoga class, and she wants to know if you can do this in a chair, it's so at times people don't have to get to the floor if okay. they have difficulty doing that. Yeah, great question. So that the, if you're teaching a chair course, that we actually in March, we're gonna, we're gonna, it might be in February, but just the hand and foot it, techniques as a course and that might be something for someone like that where the hands and feet are so great in chair classes because you can sit on a chair and do the foot treatment and you can do the techniques on the chair you can hold the chair you can do the hand treatment on the chair so it's it's a really beautiful uh treatment to do and a lot of the melt techniques you can do up against a wall with a half roller so we teach these move modifications exclusively for these kind of situations where hey you've got people who can't get down on the floor no problem you can do certain things on a bed you can do them up against a wall right so we always say melt meets people where they're at and as an instructor you really learn how to refine that skill of being able to troubleshoot and quickly get somebody to to do the treatment and feel the changes oh that's fantastic i can't you know what i just looked down at my at my phone i'm like oh my gosh we are almost out of time but we did get a question from somebody we know that this program starts january 11th okay and we've got so i, I mean i can't believe we're well over 100 people that are, are interested in the program and somebody did ask i think it was beth asked um is there a way that is there another course that's going to be coming up later because she does want to take it but january 11th is a little close for her yeah we teach the level one course four times a year so every oh, three or four months there's another one so if you miss this one there's another one and you'll have another opportunity for sure i mean we're always doing trainings we do about 12 trainings a year in all five levels so we do four of the level ones in a given year. So if you miss one, we've got another coming up for you. And there's flexibility in the program. Like if I've got, if I've got a vacation planned, like where any of us are able to go on vacation, but like we've got a vacation planned or, or, you know, I've got, a, you know, I've got a graduation or a wedding coming up. There is flexibility within there to run the programs. Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is amazing. So so it's regularly 2000 let me look la 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 2000 a little $2,200 295 dollars and you're giving you're giving 300 dollars off so it makes it 1995 yep and $2,000 it's all i have to do is it's get like it's it's one i mean like you have to hear this right? if you once you take the course like again this also includes the products the discounts to the products the instructor and form, you make the money form. on the products that you distribute to your client yeah. yeah so if you taught an intro class and you got 10 people three times 
to pay you 10 to $20, just start doing the math in your mind, right? You've already made a third of your money back. And then if you do even one series event and you charge $400 for eight sessions, or maybe you charge even a little bit less, but you got 10 to 20 people to come to one of your classes, you will pay yourself back in the first month of taking the course. That's the beauty of the method. If you are ready to stand in front of groups and you are in that mindset where I want to bring a collective of a group of people together you just start doing the math for yourself what you know because everywhere is different new york is different than florida is different than chicago so it's where look at what your your local yoga and pilates studios are charging for group and one-on-one -on -one, and you're probably in that same wheelhouse and we have instructors who have brought their kids through college teaching melt so it, it is a lucrative business because it's unique it's something people need. And once people start melting, I always say people melt once and they're going to want to melt every day and they will buy the product and they will go home and do it, which is the beauty of the method. That's what I, that's how I've gotten so successful in working with people one-on-one -on -one, is to identify the problem, give them a, a, a curriculum that they're going to go home and do and not come and see me three times a week. Come and see me once every two weeks and we'll just make sure that you're still on the right track and you'll get yourself out of it. Because I believe this wholeheartedly, our bodies are designed to heal. So if you can share to, with people how to empower them to give themselves permission to go into their bodies and learn how to care for their bodies in this unique way, they will transform their health for years to come. Well, this has been fantastic. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm getting more and more and more questions. If any of you out there have questions that you need to be answered, you can always email. Let me make sure I've got it. Info at meltmethod.com. That's info at meltmethod.com. They can answer any of your questions. This is a great way to kick start your cash flow for 2022 by using the MELT method in your programs and teaching the MELT method as group exercise, as small group training, as personal training, integrated into your mas massage therapy, your physical therapy, integrated into your group classes. And it's great for clubs to be able to do this. So um, for more information, you guys can go to meltmethod.com. Remember the course starts January 11th, which is hello, six days from today, six days. Oh my gosh. We're already in 2022. Thank goodness. And this pandemic is going to end and these people need help. They need help. We've had two years of this and they want a method that's going to help with that you know, I'm, I'm scared of even saying, saying uh, recovery around you, Sue. Oh, no, it's re okay. <laughs> restoring. So think about this. We want to keep people coming back to us. We want to help individuals that are, that are not, maybe not being helped by the medical profession. They might need a little bit extra. And you guys get an incredible course for an incredible price. And I love the discount. So watch your emails. You're going to get a copy of this recording. You'll get the $300 off. And I'm going to lead this to you, Sue, to sign us off. Well, and one thing I would say is, is I know a lot of you guys have asked questions, which I really appreciate. And if you haven't friended us on social media, go to Instagram and like the Melt Method page. And oh, maybe on Friday, we'll collect all of the questions that you guys have. And I always do just like live chats. And I'll see if I can answer some of the questions there. But again, our instructor team will also be replying to you guys as well if they haven't already on this. And yes, I mean, if, you, if this has piqued your interest, I hope to see you guys at one of our trainings. You will be with an incredible group of like-minded individuals. Our, our instructors are amazing. You will love the course. It will be a real experience for you, especially if you want to help a, a wider array of clientele. So I really appreciate you. And Sarah. Thank you so much. And I am so looking forward to being at SCW in 2022. It was wonderful to be there with you this last year. So I'm looking forward to more people coming back into the convention setting so that we can transform lives there as well. Uh, and I think that's all I need to say. Um, let me just check on that. <laughs> and did, did they want me to say anything else? Um, yeah, no, it's just be sure to check the email. You did it. So Thank you guys all for listening to us and Sarah for your time. And uh, yeah, go to meltmethod.com if you want to find yeah. out. Yeah. Fantastic, guys. Everybody take care. See you later.